Hello, and thank you for joining us for another episode of our City News Show. I'm Tanya Vaden. And I'm John Scanlon. And we're at City Hall to talk about a collaboration that will excite skateboard enthusiasts in Pensacola. That's right. Mayor Grover Robinson announced at his weekly press conference last week that the City of Pensacola has teamed up with Upward Intuition and the Institute for Human and Machine Cognition to bring skate spots to the Hollis T. Williams Park. The spots provide a safe area for the skate community and also create interactive locations that will serve as building blocks for STEAM learning. The skate spots will address the immediate needs of the skate community until the larger Blake Doyle Skate Park can be completed. The spots replicate common skate locations such as handrails or concrete ledges. The spots will be constructed of recycled materials donated to the city. The skate spots are expected to be completed by this fall. Thanks to your generosity, Mana Food Pantries now has 21,314 pounds of food to help feed people in our community. The annual donut strike for Mana was a huge success. The goal was to collect 20,000 pounds of non-perishable food between June 26th and 28th. During that time, our first responders gave up eating donuts until Mana reached their goal. They far exceeded it. Thank you to everyone who participated. The Downtown Improvement Board recently celebrated the opening of a, the newly activated Jefferson Alleyway. The alleyway has been revamped with plants, lighting, and paint. The purpose of the revamp was to create a safer space by providing lighting. Members of the Downtown Improvement Board celebrated the revamp with a ribbon cutting on Friday, June 28. Come see the improvements for yourself. Last call to apply to Pensacola Fire Department's cadet program. If you've always wanted a career in the fire service, this is your chance. Fire cadets receive paid training and will be state certified EMT and firefighters when they complete their training. Applicants must be 18 or older and have a high school diploma or GED. The deadline to apply is July 12th. To apply, go to our jobs website, PensacolaCityJobs.com. Well, before we go, we have some camps we want to let you know about. First, Pensacola Youth Soccer Camp presented by North Pensacola Optimus Club is coming up July 15th to the 18th. UWF women's head soccer coach Joe Bartlinski will bring some of his players to help conduct the camp. This camp is for boys and girls aged 6 to 15. To learn about costs and register, go to PensacolaYouthSoccer.com. We also have a musical theater camp July 22nd to 26th, hosted at our Goal Point Resource Center. This is an introductory camp for students interested in the basic concepts of musical theater, singing, acting, and dancing. To learn about costs and register, go to webtrack.cityofpensacola.com. Well, that's all we have for you on this episode of our City News Show. We thank you for watching, and we will see you next, next week. week.